And you can see here in Device Manager, it lists the graphics card now. And then also, if we go to the ASUS software, now it lists my graphics card. Hi, I'm Derek, and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you'll learn about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, my current setup is I have a GPD G1, and I want to connect it to my ASUS Z13 2022 edition. Because I do video editing, I wanted a little more power when I'm video editing, and then the G1 provided that for me. But some people said they had issues installing the driver. So just a quick update, the G1 is basically a docking station, so you don't really need a drivers for that. You need drivers for the video card that's in it, and you can get that from AMD. So let's show you how to do it. So if you go into Device Manager, just type that up, and then you go to Display Audio, it's display adapters, you see the only thing in there is the integrated graphics card. So what we have to do is install the drivers for the G1. Quick note, you see this on the side, there's two USB-C ports on the side of the Z13. Now the bottom one is charging, the top one is the G1. You have to put the G1 in the top one, it won't, rec it won't be recognized in the bottom USB-C port. So just keep, it, keep that for reference. So now that's plugged in, I'm going to turn the G1 on. And you see now that the G1 is recognized, but it doesn't have the drivers. It just comes up as Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So we can fix that. So all you have to do is go to AMD. So you just go to amd.com forward slash en slash support. I'll put the link in the description um, below the video. But then the one thing you want to do is just go to download Windows drivers. I already have it downloaded. You just click on it and let it do its thing. Now at this point, if it recognizes the graphics card, you're good to go and you just continue and you install it. Now, if you have a problem where it's not recognized, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So let's get to that. So if you're at the point where you're installing the software and while it's installing, you get this window. Oops, something went wrong. I'll show you how to fix this. So you can close this out. So from the AMD support page, what you want to do is scroll down and then you can select your own drivers. So pick graphics and then you want to scroll to the series graphics card you have. Mine's the 7000 series. And then you pick the 7000. And then my card is the 7600 MXT. And then you submit. Pick what version Windows you have. I have 11. And then you don't want to click the auto detect install. You want to scroll down and select the one you just picked. And you download that. Let's get rid of the other ones that I downloaded. A little bit. We don't need these anymore. We just wait for that to download. So now that that has downloaded successfully, you want to install it. So you'll still get this issue, but wait. Close this out. So what you want to do is go back to PC, so your C drive or whatever drive you have your programs installed on, and you should see an AMD folder. That's good. So now what you want to do is go back to Device Manager, and then go to Display Adapters, and you see the Microsoft Basic Display Adapters. Click on that, and then right-click and Update Driver. Now you want to do Browse My Computer. Let me pick from a list, and then click Have Disk. Click Browse, and then now you want to go to this PC, your C drive, and that AMD folder, AMD Software Installation, Packages, Drivers, Display, WT6A, and then click this INF file right here. Press OK. And then just pick one of these drivers, and then press Next, and let it install. Now the drivers have been installed. And you can see here in Device Manager, it lists the graphics card now. 
And then also, if we go to the ASUS software, now it lists my graphics card. Pretty nice. So let me show you that one thing that I promised you earlier. Now I'm going to unplug the power. And then you can see that the graphics card is displayed here. I'm going to unplug it from the top USB-C. It'll disappear in a moment. And plug it into the bottom. Give it a moment to register. And we have nothing. So let me take it out again, plug it into the top one where it was before, give it a moment, let it register, and as you can see, we have the graphics card back again. So I hope this helps. Take care.